1949. 65 years ago, nearly 24,000 days gone by. 260 season changes, including 65 summers. The average cost for a new house in 1949? $7,450. The average yearly wage was just under $3,000. The cost for a gallon of gas? 17 cents. The minimum hourly wage? 70 cents an hour. In 1949, President Harry Truman introduced his Fair Deal plan and would begin his first full term as president. In 1949, right here in Amarillo, a tornado struck, killing seven, causing $3 million in damage. E.H. Klein began his term as mayor. Our population was just under 70,000. Things yet to arrive in Amarillo in 1949? How about a local television station? Wonderland Park, Palo Duro High School, Tascosa High School, Caprock High School. May 12, 1949, Potter County Memorial Stadium was opened and the Amarillo Gold Sox, fresh off their West Texas New Mexico League title the season before, took to their new home field. The average birth years for the players in 1949 ranged from 1913 to 1926. There's great baseball history here in West Texas, and it's that history that we intend to honor and remember while adding our own chapters for those who will look back upon what we have done. Potter County Memorial Stadium is 65 years old and maybe just a little beyond her years. But with a little help, she'll be able to bridge the gap between old and new. We're willing and able to do our part, but we cannot do it all on our own. So we're asking your help in keeping her safe, viable, and able to carry us through to the new venue. In April, the Emerald Sox Baseball Club replaced dead and worn turf in the infield, home plate area, and both bullpens. Total area replaced was just over 3,300 square feet of Celebration Bermuda grass at a total cost of $1,576.06. All labor provided by five Amarillo Sox employees. Also in April, the Amarillo Sox Baseball Club designed and built two corporate box sections in the lower general admission sections of the stadium. The boxes are located behind Section A and Section M. Each corporate box measures 24 feet wide by 6 feet deep and seats 6 guests in outdoor patio style chairs. All labor provided by two Amarillo Sox employees. In June, the Amarillo Sox Baseball Club built a semicircle stage in the lounge for pre- and post-game concerts. The stage measures roughly one and a half feet tall by 12 feet deep in a semicircle in the northwest corner of the lounge. All labor was provided by two Amarillo Sox employees. There is some signage in and around the stadium, adding some color and contemporary visual appearance. However, the greater portion of the fans' overall experience and park impression seems to have been a scoreboard that didn't work properly. Appears to be missing Lexan, leaving fluorescent bulbs and ballasts exposed, dirty seats, and unpainted, uncared-for stadium and fan-specific items such as poles, beams, and food court. Still, our own players and managers were asked to and played in conditions that included a playing field wrought with bare spots, holes and hills, dugouts in disrepair, the home dugout including exposed wires, batting cages in need of new posts and netting repair, a dilapidated pitching batting practice protective screen, and locker rooms. We'll let those photos speak for themselves. It's time to bring history back to life, rebuild and re-engage our fans while energizing new ones. It's time to help the old give way to the new, but to do so with honor. It's time to give our fans, our players, something to be proud of. It's time for a new era of Amarillo baseball. Before you are packets containing projected repairs and estimated costs. Though we may be making up for lost time, know that we consider it a labor of love and an investment in the future. Our Executive Vice President and General Manager, Stephanie Tucker, will go over these packets in just a moment, taking your questions along the way. We are glad and privileged to take this project on, but seeking a minimal investment from Potter County to help us create an environment that will grow a solid baseball fan base and move us forward, preparing all for the new facility, the new experience, the history yet to be made. Potter County Memorial Stadium. She's seen a lot in 65 years, and with a little help, she'll leave us with fond memories while giving way to the future.